Um, when you had come back, you had a, a great reception. Um, the crowd really took to you from the second I announced your name, uh, and you had aligned yourself right off the bat with myself, uh, A-Rock, and Static, uh, collectively known as Team NOW. What was it like to join with three of, of New Omega Wrestling's top wrestlers at the time? Uh, it was really cool. Um, as me and you, we were already, you know, we had our thing as tag team, and to align with two other great wrestlers, it was uh, pretty nice, and felt good to come back and have a really good team, and yeah. So, um, just a few months after you had come back and aligned yourself with Team NOW, uh, the group itself had kind of internally combusted, uh, just fell apart in a sheer matter of, of shows after your return. Um, what was it like for you to start to get used to being part of Team NOW and then ultimately it just disappearing? Well, it really kind of sucked because I wanted to do a lot more with uh, A-Rock and Static, seeing that I never really worked with them a lot. Mm -hmm. I worked with you quite a bit, so I mean, that was a given. Mm -hmm. But working with them was cool and didn't really get to do much, so kind of fell out a little too fast for me. So after after Team NOW had combusted, um, that really kind of set the pace for you, establishing your name in, in or reestablishing your name in, in NOW as a, as a tag wrestler with myself as well as a singles wrestler. What was it like for you, I got my opinions, but what was it like for you to be uh, um, – back in the, the the tag scene? Well, being in the tag scene, it's different than being a singles wrestler. But being in tag, it's, uh, it's a lot of extra competition because you got two people to face, and you got to worry about your partner, and um, really working together is part of the game. And uh, I think we work very well together, seeing that we became champions twice. Correct. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's it's fun and makes it extra competitive. Yeah. So, on top of us becoming two-time tag team champions in NOW, making our third tag title run, um, you had also started making a name for yourself as a singles wrestler, a Havoc singles wrestler. Um, how was that for you, doing the tag stuff, as well as doing singles competition? Well, like I said before, I mean, I left the champion. I was the last HBW heavyweight champion, first NOW heavyweight champion. You know, I mean, I like to compete as a singles wrestler just so I can prove myself. I feel I've proved myself before, but I'm coming back, so i got to work myself back up. So you worked yourself up to the extreme title. Uh, you had feuded with T. Summers over a series of shows, ultimately ending at Event Alpha 3, where you had picked up the Extreme title, your first reign with the Extreme title. Um, what does the Extreme title and running Extreme Rules matches and, and being in the Extreme division mean for you? For me, being in Extreme matches, it's kind of like up in the ranks of being a heavyweight champion, but at the same time, it's on its own level because you have to do anything to win. You have to put your body on the line, you have to do anything that's possible to pick up that win. You can use weapons, you can do whatever, it doesn't matter. So, you know, on the same end, you're, it's a good chance you're going to get hurt. But in the end, if you pick up the win, you really prove a good point on how much you can really handle. Yeah. So, um, New Med Wrestling's next major show uh, is Battle for Glory. This will be the first time that you've ever entered a Battle for Glory event. Uh, the winners of each Battle for Glory match go on to the Battle for Glory match itself in the main event, um, where the winner, it's kind of a Rumble Elimination style match, where the winner will uh, become the rightful number one contender for the NOW Heavyweight title. Um, this being your first time in a Battle for Glory show, 
um, as well as another shot at the heavyweight title. It's kind of uh, uh, two things all in one for you. So what, what, getting back into the heavyweight title contendership roughly, how does that feel? Uh, I would like to pick up the heavyweight title. Um, if I get into that, I would like to because I would like to be the first uh, NOW wrestler to be the extreme champion and the heavyweight champion at the same time. So, you know, and I never really lost the belt, so. True. Absolutely true. Do you mind picking up my belt back? Yeah, of course. Um, so basically, the, the open-ended question is uh, the heavyweight title. Uh, you've got a shot, a, a potential shot at that in the near future. Um, you've got your extreme title. Potential tag titles coming soon as well. Uh, um, the options are limitless for the way that you're positioned right now. What is Havoc's future? What, what's the future for Havoc? Really, I don't really like to plan too much for my future. I like to focus on what I'm doing now. And um, I would like to pick up titles that I haven't picked up, say the IC title or anything of the sort, but um, anything's possible. Absolutely. Well, thank you for your time joining me here on Text Two Cents. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to wrap up episode two of Text Two Cents. Thank you very much for joining me here. We've got more episodes to come. Don't worry, they will be coming soon. Um, enjoy speaking with you. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Thank you, and goodbye. Skyscraper.